Moron, rational inequalities. Oh boy. Dealing with this, 3x plus 2 divided by an x minus 1 is absolutely bigger than 5. What is that? Bigger than that great. Or then. Yeah, is it then or is it then, but it's or. So it breaks up into the two pieces with a big fat or in between. So to help us get down this river, we look at x, 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 is great or then 5. Or the other case, the opposite of 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 is greater than 5. Yeah, okay. That's not what my book says. All right, multiply both sides by a minus. What? I like to break it up like that. Why? Because this could be positive or this could be negative. Your book breaks it up into like five different cases, but all of those cases could be replaced by looking at the positive and the negative. So, I multiply both sides by a minus and I don't forget to flip the sign. Game over. And don't forget to negate that other side over there too. Now what? We need to get it all to the left. So we see that a 3x plus a 2 divided by an x minus 1 is smaller than... Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Back that math up. I add that 5 to both sides. Five and minus five is nothing. So now what? Now we need a common denominator. So we need to multiply top and bottom by, um, yeah, the common denominator. Make that five blue. And we'll multiply that top and bottom by an x minus 1, fun, an x minus 1, fun. Why are you doing that? So that we can add numerators, and that all needs to be smaller than 0. So now that we have that, we have, uh, I guess it's white. That's that 3x plus that 2 plus... Now, 5x minus 5. I stepped that skip because I'm running out of room. And that's all over that common denominator. x minus 1. Fun. And then all of that is still smaller than 0 now. I gather, collect, and combine. 8. Great. Wait. A 3x and a 5x is an 8x. A 2 and a minus 5. That's going to be a minus 3. T he T he And then we see it's all over that denominator in x minus 1. That's still all still smaller than 0. Yeah, we're over here now. All right. What makes that numerator 0? Looks like, boom, it's a 3 8 That's bad. And then a 1. That's bad. So those are the spots that I need to look at. That's the, yeah, positive. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. 3 eighths and 1. Fun. Now, oh, dirty. We're checking those in the fully factored form of 8x minus 3 and x minus 1. Are we? We're too low. All right, shorty. I need to get a number to the left of 3 eighths. How about 0? So we put a 0 right in here. When we put a 0 in that numerator, it's a minus 3, so it's negative. Put a 0 in that denominator, it's a minus 1, so it's negative. So the whole dang thing, a minus divided by a minus is plus. Now I need to pick a number between 3 eighths and 1. That's the part that I was all like, let's go with 4 eighths. Bigger than 3 eighths, smaller than 1. 
four eighths or one half. So I put four eighths in there. That's positive. Don't believe me? Eight times four eighths minus three. Looks like those go, it's four minus three. The dang thing is freaking positive. And then I put a half in there, a half minus one is negative, so it's negative right there. I pick a number bigger than one, bigger than one, a uh, million, whatever. So eight million minus three is positive, and a million minus one is positive. A positive divided by a positive is positive. What am I looking for? I'm looking for where this is smaller than zero. The negative numbers are smaller than zero. So looks like I'm looking at three eighths to one in that interval. That's good for that piece, but this is an or, so it's everywhere, but it's shady. Yeah, shady. So then I put that over here. That's a three X plus a two divided by an X minus a one. I subtract that five off each side and that's bigger than zero. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get that. Three X plus two divided by an X minus one minus a five times three, four X minus one divided by an X minus one, five. It's still need to be bigger than zero, so. Now that I got common denomination, right? Add the numerator. That's a three X plus two minus a five times an X minus one now. Okay, guys, that's that's good, but here, Two minus one is a uh, mm, positive one. Yeah, all right, good. So a positive divided by a positive is positive. Now, to the right of seven halves, let's just put a freaking million in there. So two million minus seven, that's gonna be negative. Two million minus one is positive, so it's negative over there. What numbers am I looking for? I'm looking for the numbers that are bigger than zero. How do I know? This needs to be bigger than zero. That's where it's true. True. So what? These are one, two, seven halves. Now, this gets a little tricky because of the freaking fractions. So, if I take this yellow group right here, okay, yellow. Yellow is from one to seven halves. Good. Then white is three eighths to one. So now I need to write wherever that's good. What's good, people? Not one. So one's not good because it's not included here and it's not included there. You identify with that, huh? Okay, so this is uh, 3 eighths to one. And then we're gonna union that up with one, two, seven halves. And then I have my solution to this or. It's or. Or is everywhere where it's shady. Yeah. 